Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to build dynamic connection string. I'll use the include variable to store the connection string outside the ClickView document. For those who don't understand what include variable is, this variable specifies a file that contains text that should be included in the script. So you're storing the text outside your script and you're calling it within your ClickView script. We can place the entire script and we can call the text or the QVS file. Before we proceed any further, let's understand why are we following this approach. So I'll quickly jump into the next slide. Okay, so these are few advantages of using a dynamic connection string. First one is it's easy to maintain the connection string or strings. So what does it mean? So let's say that uh, you have to maintain only one QVS file or one TXT file which contains this string, connection string. And you can use it n number of times. And if you have to change something within the connection string, for example, like the server name or if you have to change some authentication details, you're changing at one central place instead of changing in each and every click view document. So it's really helpful to maintain it centrally and call it wherever required. Additional security because connection string is stored outside ClickView document. So you're not giving away your information within your ClickView script. You're storing it outside, so that kind of helps. And flexibility to change the server name, database name and the username. So if we are using the variables to pass in the server name, a database name and the username. So I'll quickly show you the demo so you'll understand more about it. And it's very easy to switch from test to dev environment to production environment. So if you're trying to test something uh, within your test or dev environment, then it's easy. Once you finish the testing, you can easily switch to uh, production environment. So let's go ahead and uh, let's look at practical examples. So I'll quickly jump into ClickView. Okay, so once we are in ClickView, let's click on the edit script. So we have the script here. I understand that some of you said it's hard to read uh, with this font size. So I'll increase the font size. Okay, let me go to editor and I'll increase it to say 16. I know it's massive, but uh, it'll be easy and uh, it'll be readable. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, instead of using this particular connection string, which I've commented out, in fact, we can delete that. We don't have to use it. So all I'm trying to do use is I'm trying to use this path and then I'm trying to use this particular master con connection string and I can specify my server name and I can also specify my database name. So we are passing in the server name and the database name within the connection string and we are trying to execute the script. So I'll quickly show you the script itself so you have full understanding. So let me jump into desktop and click on computer edge drive and let's select click view and then let's select uh, shared and uh, we can look at QV files and then support files. So here we see the master connection string and if I click on edit this will open it notepad and if you see I have the authentication details for now which are very static but you can in fact specify the user name, your OLEDB connection, wherever you're connecting, let's say SQL Server, you can specify the authentication username, uh, either hard coded if you're using an application login or if you're using an individual login, then you can pass it based on a variable. So here I'm calling the uh, database name and then I'm also using the server name. So let's close this and then let's go back to click view. So, and then while I'm calling this, while I'm calling this particular script by using the include variable, I'm passing these two variables. So my database name is Contesso Retail DW, and then my server name is DVPC. So it can be anything. It can be your server IP address or uh, pretty much anything. So let's go ahead and reload this. So it'll, it's asking for the password. So I'll type in the password. And then let me click on a new sheet objects, click on the list box and let's select name. Okay. So it's showing me the list of tables, which are available 
in this particular database. That's that's I'm, I'm just getting some metadata from SQL Server just for demonstration purposes. But in your scenario, you will be getting the actual data itself. So let's go back and let's say that tomorrow your database cha name changed to something else and you wanted to get information from a different database. Let's say I have a test database, so I'll use that test and then save it and reload it. Type in the password again. Okay, now if you see the information is changed, now this information is very specific to test database. So, so you can change it to pretty much anything depend, depending upon what kind of information you're trying to extract. So this should be straightforward and I, I hope this all makes sense. And uh, I hope you've learned something new. As always, feel free to rate this video and uh, leave a comment. And uh, probably just a quick announcement, I've also started uh, asking questions around ClickView. So it covers scripting, expressions, and API as well. So I'll quickly post questions on my blog and you can go ahead and answer and you don't have to register or you don't need a login to answer the questions. And this is a quick way of learning something new. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.